Hey folks, Doxy here with another variation on my updated tower mob spawning dark room. By this point in the series, this should look awfully familiar to you, as should this. Now this variation is pretty straightforward, but it is a big variation. While this is what you typically have to work with, the variation that I'm going to use in my single player world, and I'm going to call this the thinking man's version, is like this, where there is a maximum of eight blocks of water travel. Now you lose six blocks of mob spawning space right here at the ends, three plus three per floor. But it does have the added benefit where there are only eight blocks of travel via the water. And you can expand this however far that you want to. Now the only real big caveat to this is that you're going to need a completely different mob sorter. This one just won't work and I have a tutorial for that one if you're interested. Now again you can make this on pretty much any sort of footprint expanding it laterally and this direction it's still modular as it is vertically. It's just it's quicker as far as getting mobs to the collection point and is actually better for keeping mobs from getting in the way of each other because they're not quite so concentrated in a single location. But that is the task of the modified mob sorter that I'll be showing you if you click the link. Now that one was really quite straightforward and if you're looking for any other deviations or rather variations of the dark room, go ahead and click one of the links.